Attorney General Faris al Rawi has strongly criticized the opposition leader Kamla Prasad Basasa's response to the U.S. Ambassador John Estrada's concerns over the FACTA, the FACTA agreement. The Attorney General says her actions sent a bad signal to one of the country's potential trade partners. Peter Christopher reports. On Monday, U.S. Ambassador John Estrada expressed confusion over the delay over the signing of the FATCA agreement. The opposition leader, in response, said the ambassador misunderstood the intergovernmental agreement with the legislation which was to be debated by the government. Attorney General Faris al Rawi was less than impressed with the opposition leader's response. Mrs. Passard Bissessa, in telling the representative of the United States government that he's mistaken, is a continuation of her kind of diplomacy when Trinidad and Tobago was described as an ATM for the rest of the Caribbean. I think it rather unfortunate that the leader of the opposition could have made the statement that she made. The Attorney General noted that the opposition leader's stance was expanded upon by Karuni Central MP Dr. Botuwari in Parliament on Wednesday. He said the opposition's approach sends a bad message. And whilst he did not say specifically that we should do that, providing 15 minutes of examples as to why that was big stick diplomacy at work is a very dangerous signal for the opposition of Trinidad and Tobago to be sending to our international partners. The Attorney General also defended the government's decision to suspend the debate early as it was clear in his view that the opposition had stated their position. The leader of the opposition did not lift the whip. She did not say that the members on the bench had the permission to disagree with her position because she spoke first, confirmed by Botiwari. And therefore, the opposition's position on special majority legislation where their votes are required to carry the law was very simple. They will not support. There must be a joint select committee. In those circumstances, the debate ended. The AG said the opposition actions put the government and the country in jeopardy of facing sanctions as there was no guarantee that the U.S. would grant an extension to sign the FATCA agreement. Peter Christopher, CNews.